Um, but okie dokie. Let's see here. If we scroll up real quick, could go in with even Cactus Evergreen if we want to just combine those and keep the line going here. Otherwise, what would we go for? Hmm. Amy Vinehouse is really appropriate. But I also like Steeler Cabbage Hearts. Oh, me oh my. But hey, pressure's off for the streak at least. And just can go through as a happy camper. Go Fedhas Cosplayer. I mean, sounds good to me. I know that Safed would probably be uh, on board with that as well. I mean, that's the real issue with Katniss there, is we didn't, we didn't buy in. We didn't go full bore towards the, uh, the theme. And we paid for it. Deservedly so. What's character limited names? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? So this time around, what do we want to do? Do we want to change it up? Go for fighter? Or do we go straight for hunter? Because I think we are going to go with Fed Hass. So yeah, Colgate, I like the idea of Berserker, and I feel like a Berserker uh, Vine Stalker is really strong. So we'll keep that in the back pocket for when we just want to win. But I think this time we are going to go with Fed Hass one way or another. So it just becomes a question of how we want to get there. And generally, I like going hunter with Fed Hass. So let's do it. Let's all just make a uh, executive call here. And do we want to go with bows? Crossbows are nice because you can always transition into a bit more of a shield build later down the road, which is pretty solid, but... But we did, we turned down the bow earlier. We we stuck our nose up at it. So let's let's not do the same today. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was that 28 or 29? I stopped counting because it looked like it was going, <laughs> going beyond, but it was like 28, 30 is the character limit, something like that. But let's do Amy Vinehouse, shall we? I think so. I'm tempted to just roll it back, do Cactus, uh, Cactus Evergreen. That's fine. Use the numpad to check. That's much smarter than my idea. <laughs> that was 1029. 29 indeed. The exact the average of my options. That's the same thing, right? Perfect. But regardless, there she is in all of her glory. Do we want to train bows right away? I might just turn it off and train short blades as a, a bit of a temporary measure here. At least up to somewhere like 10, dodging and stealth. Can it go for the moment? Are you running testing game? That was just an example. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> But I think you, that your example was just right. <laughs> can check again in the future. It becomes relevant but for the time being. We'll just hop in. You must fell in line, so picking a name per run isn't a thing. See, and I've had people ask me over the, uh, the months, maybe even year by now, that we've been playing DCSS on stream. I've had people ask me why I like to play offline tiles. And I have lots of random reasons, or not even necessarily random. I have lots of reasons why I'm kind of drawn towards it, but I think one of the sleeper ones that I never think to, to bring up is that I love coming up with names. And by coming up with names, I of course mean stealing names from Safed. Just make a new account every run. That is true. That would also get the job done. You're not wrong. But there we go, we've updated the, the seed here as we go in for one more try. Though I do want to come back at some point and do a, a Wujian Vine Stalker, because that does sound like a lot of fun for the future. I'm tempted to go Faded Altar, but no, we have a plan. We've made a promise, and we will stick to it. Oop. Oop. What, what do you? Venom is very nice. 
In fact, let's do on a swap an item. Let's put the dagger venom on B instead. Perfect. For you not having to get a new name every game as part of the appeal? See, that's fair enough too. Hey, Star Polemic. Oh, of course, no deaths. Are, who are you talking to? Though, to be fair, we did actually go pretty well. Our Deep Dwarf made it through in one piece. I don't even think I've changed the stream name. It probably is still up as, uh, as Deep Dwarf, but that went very well. And we don't talk about Kat Katniss Evergreen. So yeah, no, it's going perfect. First try, Vinestalker, let's do this. Oh, poor Katniss, never, never stood a chance. That's fine. Amy Vinehouse will more than make up for it. First try. Let's do it. See? Save it. You're off the chain. Bruce Springbean, Orlando Bloom. <laughs> I like those ones a lot. Let's <laughs> see. So you don't have to change at all. Bernie Sanders, also fantastic. Vincent Van Groh and Leafham Neeson. He has a very particular set of skills. And he will hunt you down. Or he will find you. And he will supply you oxygen because that's what plants do. You know, they take in carbon dioxide. And they, anyway, it's it's a biology thing. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's honestly a very essential set of skills that uh, Leaf of Neeson has. Or Lawn Yay West. <laughs> it's good too. See, and this is why I never have to come up with a name. Got all you lovely folks doing it, doing all the heavy lifting for us, and I very much adore and appreciate you all for it. Let's switch over to ring mail again, and not going great against the first adder, but there we go. Don't kill me please, dart slime, that would be an embarrassing way to go. You don't want to die to a dart slime, especially since they have a pretty interesting mating ritual shall we say that's something i only know thanks to the dcss community because for whatever reason a thread on the reddit a while back got off into talking about the reproductive um not system i guess reproductive system of dart slugs yeah that that is never mind that's a relevant way of saying it anyway they are the only sexual predators in the game exactly Uh, fellow aficionado of slug-based mating rituals, I see. <laughs> there are dozens of us. <laughs> I forget, there was another random one. Oh, I think I read that thread. And was like, oh, I never knew all this stuff. That's wild. And then later that same day, my partner was on a, a Zoom call with my cousin. They are, they're pretty close friends. And, uh... And they randomly talked about the way that, not dart slugs specifically, but the way that slugs mate. And so it was just a weird coincidence. I mean, just kind of weird that it happened twice, you know? <laughs> twice on each, or for each of us. But I guess it was just that kind of day. It was a slug day all across the world. People were learning. The only sexual anything in the game I don't know, have you seen the outfits my characters have been wearing recently? Because I gotta say, there's a lot of, lot of tension in the air since then. That's all I'll say about it. Um, probably want to avoid Sigmund for now. I'm tempted because with the poison brand, there's a shot. Keanu leaves. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. Another fantastic one. See, I, I had a feeling. In general, the plant-based pun pool, I feel like, is extremely large. There's so many directions to take it. We haven't even started into, like, fruits or vegetables, and that's a whole nother avenue. So really, the options are just endless at the end of the day. Hey, hey my null friend. It'd be a shame if we just 
Pillar Dance to you for all eternity. Whip of Electrocution. Oh. Okay, they saw my Pillar Dancing strat and raised me a net. Bold. Bold, my Noel. I mean, if you were a different species, we could make a good pun out of that as well. But unfortunately, you're not a kobold like my brain initially <laughs> wanted to, to slot in. Just force that pun until it fit. But that's cool. What is the best archer god? Are we still scared of no ammo? Definitely a little bit. So yeah, Oka is always a, a pretty solid choice. But I think I think you were right on with Bedhas. I think that is the direction we'll be taking it. Do uh, the plant. <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue, but it is good. It is good. Plant. Anyway. Well, I don't know why. My brain for a second there was like, I should try and join in with the names. But why, why do any work when I can just outsource it to all of you you're all funnier than i am anyway so just i was gonna say cut out the middle person but more so acknowledging the middle person here and shamelessly stealing all the humor from them it's perfect honestly it's a win-win right for all of us <laughs> i'm not the only one benefiting no no words <laughs> Indeed. Words. Indeed. Oh, there's so much you can do with them. It's fun stuff. The middle management of stream uh, comedy? Exactly. We do our best. We do our best. Just got the ring. Aheke. Resist fire, willpower, and strength plus seven. Solve some problems for sure. That is lovely. I want to get me one of those. Where can I get one of those this late in the season, you know? But we should in general, I mean, increasing our magical reserves, that's just more health, baby. I'll take it. And otherwise, protection from fire is probably the correct option, but I need some positive vibes, positive energy. So let's put on a ring that supplies just that. Heck is nice, very nice. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Hold up, don't walk right towards the scorpion. This is how things went poorly last time. It's a it's a slippery slope, my friends. Just get them super poisoned. Lovely. I guess we also have the poison dagger this time, so actually I probably should have checked to see which was which one was more likely to hit. It is what it is though. Also got a refill for my drink and haven't touched it a single time since. Whoops. Oh, hey, doggo, why are you looking up at me? See, I want to give you rubs, but then we're all the people out there are missing out because you refuse to come on camera. Thank you, man. Or is this, is this a different day? Come here. Do you want to show up? Show your face? Oh, what a sweetie, hey? What a sweetie. Oh, thank you. Are you even showing up? Oh, a little bit. You're on camera. Come on, give me that free clout. That free clout. People love a, a good cute doggo. But you're kind of leaning out of frame. You're not a, a very camera-centric person, are you, Bruce? What a cutie. You also gotta relearn uh, to game without damage shaving. Yeah, there are many things that we've uh, kind of held over from our Deep Dwarf run that's not an appropriate way to handle our, our issues here. Gotta be careful. Gotta stay safe out there, kids. Okie dokie. Let's take our adder friend upstairs. Why not? And just centaur should be a-okay. Lovely stuff. Kinda wish we'd gone crossbow, because that hand crossbow is actually quite nice. But we'll be fine. We don't need no stinking crossbows. That is needlessly complicated. We just take the cross out of crossbow. Hmm, that one in Duvesa, probably do want to ignore for now. 
Doggo! Yes, did it work? Is, is my free clout coming in? Is it being delivered? I sure hope so. Because Lord knows I need it. Something to, uh, to sell people in the stream. I mean, that's why we're constantly, completely and totally, totally purposefully throwing ourselves into harm's way in this game. Not making mistakes. We don't make mistakes, of course. But keeping the drama up. So it's, it's all we got here. It's all we got. Going from a zillion heal potions to zero heal potions. I didn't quite think of it that way, but you are right. <laughs> There we go, our fangs grow out fully, so that is fantastic. Let's just ignore these two for the time being. We could maybe face down in Duvessa. Just kill Duvessa first, and then try to use anti-magic fight for, for Dowin. But let's not risk it, shall we? Let's play it safe. And that is lovely. Sound of rushing water, you don't say. It's too bad we're not going not going Jivia this game. And before it actually shows up and I have to have to decide what to do with that information. What is this building? Huh. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Well, we should be able to kill a null sergeant, and then let's head in. Do they have, like, indoor plumbing here or something? Uh, it's looking like not so much. Have I gotten any slow rusting of a very distant drain? Yeah, not so much it's looking. Let's maybe head back up this way. Orc priest is nearby. Okay, they couldn't see us, though. Oh gosh, I can hear the, the squeaking come from the other room. Don't worry, my, my sweet doggo will be, will be done pretty quickly here. And then she can get all the chasing and playing she would like. Her, her mother's not home today, so I gotta make up for the, the missing... vibe there? I don't know where my brain was going. So I was thinking of the fact that she misses her, but it is a missing person as well. Not a missing persons, because that has different connotations. She's just not home. Um, okay, we we're just getting distant message, which means relatively close. I was hoping it's down here, but apparently it's just a null heavy floor. It's that kind of day. And come one, come all. See the show tonight. Not too shabby. That haste did hurt, for sure. Don't get me wrong, we don't have any resistance to cold at the moment, so I think we just have to tough this one out. Pull ourselves up by our, our bootstraps, since that is a completely possible physical maneuver. Oh no, I got corona. Did we for a bit there? I was not even paying attention. I mean, that's what we get for wandering around. I mean, sure, you might think we don't have to wear a mask because we're more plant than, than person, but turns out, probably should have just been playing it safe. Okay, uh, wait, this is a different ogre. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Grinder is now following us. All I wanted, I want to get down my swamp. <laughs> or sewers, rather, please. Um, hmm. Welp. Grinder's probably resistant to poison, right? Yes, you are. Hmm. That's a real shame. They don't fall into sewers, so I was just thinking about going in. It's a bit dangerous still, because they'll be here while we're... when we come out. But... Let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, do I don't actually want to kill the adder, because I'd rather the brigand is right next to me. Regardless, they got off a curary shot. Wee bit rough, but we should be able to uh, finish the job, and that's just free curary for me, baby. Love to see it. And 
not too shabby. Hopefully everything else is pretty manageable. No, no temptation from Jivia would actually be kind of nice, just because it's oh so tempting. The siren's call of the slime, it's the call of the ooze, as it were. Short sort of speed, I do like. That's a future problem. That's the spirit. <laughs> Grinder is, in fact, a problem for future me. There we go. Get a decent stash of consumables here. Okay, what else could we do? Right, I was just thinking. Yeah, read Telly before leaving the sewer. We have six of one scroll, five of another. So that's probably ID and Telly. If we had to guess. Both of which would work out quite nicely. Do I want to try and fight them at all? We'd switch over to the short sword of speed. I am speed. And they're in water and I'm on dry land. So get wrecked? Ain't no thing. Perfect. Never didn't have it, of course. It's not like I identify consumables. Exactly. That's why we decided that plan was trash and instead just back on the road. Ideen is for people in a rough spot, and I am confident in our abilities moving forward. So why would I, why would I need that even in the slightest? It's not like I'm ever gonna run into any issues in our journey, so it just seems silly to uh, to be concerned, you know. Instead, we're going for the first zero consumable win. No consumable percent coming up. Can you imagine? I wouldn't be surprised if people have tried it as a challenge run. It would be interesting. But very annoying. Very, very painful. Across the board. Oh, right. You know, I looked in that window earlier and I was thinking that must be a special vault. But I should have known that that's exactly where we were heading. So, we ended up having to fight all those buddies anyway. Let's put on our plus two cloak. Ooh, Cyan again. Again, maybe not our our favorite look. Though, actually, what am I saying? The last time we had a Cyan cloak, I raved about it. And it was the whole, the whole thing is that we wanted to make a statement. So, scratch that. Also, a Bailey. Also, also, on top of that, a Hornet. <laughs> Let's go to a different stairwell and see if it's something a little bit more manageable. Ideally, in sight range of the Bailey. Crap, I think the Hornet saw us. Oh, they definitely saw us, and now we also have a Centaur. <laughs> uh, let's hope that we cure Ari. Perfect. We also get paralyzed, but that's not bad. The Paralyzed, sorry, is very bad, of course. That we can all agree on. But the fact that we managed to do some damage while Paralyzed, not too shabby. Many friends, indeed. Too many friends, some may argue. And I'd be tempted to agree. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should have... Oh, how much will I throw away for the joke itself? Maybe I should have just... Uh... I did some scrolls last floor. Might have blinker fear by now, but that's not an issue. That sounds like a doubter's mindset, and we believe in ourselves to the nth degree, regardless of how appropriate such belief may be. So, do we want to swap over to poison resistance? Probably not even worth it. You deal like 18 damage? 18 damage. Poison and cause paralysis or slowing if any damage is dealt, of course. Chance to blow your mind, 55%. It's not bad. My grandfather's plan has no pathetic friends guy but <laughs> Oh right, I'm not actually where I should be in bed yet. Uh, um do you want to blow your mind? One arrow to the face, we can actually kinda take. Perfect. 
never a doubt in my mind. Faint creaking of a distant portcullis, so that means that we're pretty close. I would like to find bed before we do it. <laughs> no, we definitely should ID scrolls for sure. That's one of my main issues. In fact, you know, we just had our life flash before my eyes. Let's let's do it as soon as we get out of here. One day when I'm out of here, I'll achieve all my dreams. I was hoping that this wouldn't take too many turns, because I want to get to that Bailey. But I'm not seeing them. Fedhas, you there, friend? Shucks. What are the odds? Hey, congrats on beating Deep Rock and Lurking. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. No, thank you for the lurk. Always want to show my appreciation for all you lurkers out there because it does help out a huge deal with, uh, with the entire process here. And I'm very grateful. So, no, thank you so much. And thanks for the congrats as well. I'm very happy with that one. Hopefully, we can get the same treatment here. So I'm going to hold off for Fedhas, unless Seyfed feels differently. Seyfed, you have the keys to the kingdom when it comes to how we build today. So let me know, but I am happy, more than happy. Okay, still distant when I'm up here. We got to be close then, got to be close. Oh, single tree? Nope. Dang you, Evie. Got my hopes up. Um, hmm. Maybe I should just start IDing scrolls. If we get magic mapping, we could find. You know, let's start here. ID scrolls. Take me away. In fact, let's inscribe these. And. Two scrolls of blinking, that is lovely. Two of fog, also fantastic. Enchant armory, can't go wrong. How many ID scrolls do I have left? Still four, let's do this. I'm assuming the six stack is teleport. Might not be right, but fairly safe bet. I almost need to get further away so that I can get a different message and confirm what direction we should even be going in. Still getting the distant message. What the heck? Is it like maybe right here? Come on, please, my, my Bailey. All moat, no Bailey. We hear it nearby. Is it? Could it? No, not there. Oh gosh. I guess that means this? Let's see, we got that message when we were here. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> oh gosh. Is it gonna be like hidden in this little midsection? I hope not. Actually, I don't think so, because we would have gotten the nearby message earlier. It's back to being distant. Oh. There she blows. Oh no. Want to worship Javar? So we're hoping to worship uh, Fedhas here, is the plan. But we'll have to see. Unfortunately, I want to get in the Bailey, but Harold is really not good. <laughs> oh, so terrible. Run for your life, Harold. I'm making it to this Bailey, one way or another. Could go for a temporary worship on Ellie. Yeah, I kind of always, always forget about that. But if you could all just come this way. Your boomerangs ain't got nothing on me. Ooh, that orc knight might though. Oh, and that's my way out. Whoopsie daisies. Um, Mighted Warrior is very, very bad. Huh. Let's let's take a second here. Get 
get some appreciation for our situation, as it were. Chance to affect you, 49, not bad. And it would just be the Orc Knight in the forefront. So let's start here. Let's do the paralysis. Let's do the paralysis. Choked on my own saliva. Whoops, that's that's not great. Um, just one time. Oh, jeez. They know if I can take one more hit from you. And Harold's waiting for us. Huh. What were the odds again? How many coin flips did I fail? How many times did I try it? Was it four? <laughs> I want to say it was four. Resist with some effort. No, just three. No, never mind. Four. How about that? How about that? Four coin flips in a row. Not quite lottery odds by any stretch, but still interesting. So instead of just, I was gonna do something quick and risk it all. Thanks, click it for the stretch. That'll keep me alive another, another select few moments at least. Some sweet, sweet minutes of, of life for good old Amy Vinehouse. But I was tempted to just risk it, step over, head for the portal, yada yada. Probably not a great idea. We still have some fear scrolls. We still have blinking scrolls. Let's not, let's not cash our, cash our chips quite yet. Hmm. But what do we wish to do here? Fear is probably a safe way to get out and saves us our blinking scrolls. So that's nice. Do I just leave? Or do I want to keep trying here? Because it would also give us a little bit of an opportunity to try a few more paralysis stacks. I don't know how I'm dealing with the Orc Knight, though. They're the problem. Or are a real problem, I should say. Let's start with fear. Orc Knight hits me but deals no damage. I feel sorry for your rolls, my friend. Must have gone quite unlucky. Orc Knight hits me with plus zero war axe. Don't do that. I thought we had a... I thought we had something going here, something beautiful. Unfortunately, the fear didn't work. Terrari's a pretty decent bet, for sure. 53% chance to hit, that's a lot better than our paralysis. So this comes back to the crux of the question. Do I want to fight through this, or should I leave? I feel like we'd get a decent haul of treasure here. Most of these things are totally manageable. So I kind of want to push it. That's Kirari. Ducks, didn't quite work. We did miss, that's too bad. Okay, so what else can we potentially do? 31%, again, we could just, we could just blink for the exit, but that's what a coward would do. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am a coward. But in this one circumstance, I must be brave. I'm going to use another fear and hope it works. Oh, that snaps you out of your fear, does it? How about that? How about that? I was hoping a failed attempt would just do nothing and they'd keep running away, but... <laughs> Never over, just <laughs> smash mark punt. Yeah, I wish we could get a nice drop kick in. That would do it. But what can we do here besides just leave? Because if I risk everything by like blinking out here and continuing this fight, and we need to use another blink scroll. Oof, oof. One other option is we could blink on top of the exit out and then chug a couple of potions. Maybe only have time to chug one potion. If we get something like haste, we can kite. So that'll be nice. It is just an orc, just orc. Unfortunately, 
That's a lot of a lot of work to handle. Take a sip of the drink here. So another option is say commit again to staying down here. That would be blink over here. Would we have coming? Just kobolds? That's mostly fine. That gives us a lot of time to chug potions. Healing? Not an option, of course, but if we even just regenerate some health and get something like haste, that's huge. So I'm going to do it. We're going to blink here. I'm going to drink this. Brilliance, not what I'm looking for. Degeneration, definitely not what I'm looking for. Um, what else have we got? Potion of magic? That's actually pretty good. Spine Stalker, the only mobile plant in the game. I don't know, I'd count a thorn hunter is probably a plant, right? Debatably, debate, debatably, can't talk today. Also, a shambling mangrove. I'd, I'd call that a plant. It do plant things. <gasps> okay, we don't have much time, but. This is the dream. Floating eye, red back, fire crab. No, 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 no. Swamp drake, water moccasin, or a hound? A hound would be lovely. Do I want to take that one third chance? That's a bit more debatable. Am I going to do any amount of damage to you? Using all my, my mind burst? Okay, at the very least, we can probably kill you, it turns out. Perfect. Um, let's see, so how much damage is this dealing? 3d8. It's not bad. It's not great either, though. Alternative. Come on. Stabby, stab, stab. Perfect. Okay. You're saying there's a chance. Get me back. I want my Curari. Take me away. It's still flying. But that's fine. We probably won't worry too much about that. Mostly just in it for the quick victory over the kobolds. Oh, did we think there were going to be more knights? <laughs> so we're just going to run into the same. Why stat drain? I uh, blind quaff degeneration. <laughs> Only fitting for a degenerate like ourselves. Let's see, with speed, can I fight an orc warrior? Wait, who might have you? Did you drink a potion? Did, sir, did you did you drink a potion? You're not supposed to do that. We only have one flight left. I only have one paralysis. Let's go for it. You son of a gun. How many coin flips can one man lose in a row? Step right up and find your answer. Also, I've been kind of ignoring our bow. Did I, I change this to auto by accident? Whoops. You know, earlier in the stream when we were talking about how I very often will give examples of what not to do? Perfect example right there. Don't do this, don't do this. Whoopsie daisies. Why is poison magic on my... Oh, because that poison. Never mind. Feel free to ignore me. Let's go with our final potion of flight. I kind of hate it. But... Sometimes these things must be done. And let's just start launching. Gotta be slightly careful that I don't lose too many arrows to the deep water, of course. But... By using F and then the period key, you fire at the feet of your enemy, so make sure that you're never going too far one way or another. And this person we can just fire away. Perfect. Let's actually set this to B so our hot swap is a bit more appropriate. 